Welcome to Unprecedented Journey. I'm Jeff Oppenheim, your host, and if you watched our last episode, you're well on your way to setting up your desk and getting it at least uncluttered. This way you can be more productive during this time of quarantine. As part of this series going forward, I always want to offer you some extra resources outside of the episode itself. And in fact, you can contribute too by sending me a comment on the YouTube channel just below or even an email. Some of the communities already responded with some of their ideas and best practices. Just take a look. Thank you. One of the ones I like in particular is the wrist rest. Say that three times fast. Another idea that's similar is a foot rest. Elevates the legs and the feet and allows you to sit more comfortably at the desk for a longer time. Ah. A good phone stand like the one shown here is also great to have because you can continue to charge your phone and also use your speaker option, your hands-free option, to take phone calls throughout the day. If you're in tight quarters though, go to your earbuds, please. Now the friend that sent this picture in does a lot of creative work on her desk, so she likes to have all the tools at the ready. In which case, if that's like you, make sure you have a good desk organizer like she does. She certainly is prepared for just about everything. Someone also asked about storage on the cloud, which is basically what you're doing if you're working with Google Docs or something like that. Now it's great and it's super convenient, but I encourage you to still back it up to an external hard drive because don't forget, the cloud requires internet and sometimes... Don't jinx it, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. I asked a few friends about an alternative to Google Documents, and they recommended something called LibreOffice. It's developed by the Document Foundation. It's an open source software, which basically means free. It offers a clean interface and feature-rich tools that will hopefully increase your productivity and your creativity. I also brought up whiteboards and big pads to sort of map out your whole project. However, if you're working with a full team and everybody's working remotely, you might want to check out some of the great project management software that's out there these days, something like Trello or Smartsheets or Mondays.com. By the way, this is not a commercial plug. I also talked about video conferencing and audio conferencing, and the flavor of the month seems to be Zoom. Not only are people using it for business, but they're also doing panel discussions, lectures, seminars, workshops. I've even heard of people having bake-off and cook-off parties with all of their friends on Zoom. So it's a great tool. There are certainly others out there. At the very least, I'd encourage you to get WhatsApp. If that's not already on your phone, consider downloading it today. It is terrific, especially if you're reaching out to people overseas. And at the very least, go online and look for one of those free conferencing numbers. They are free, as I said, and the key here is we must stay in touch with each other, not only in business, but socially as friends, just to keep morale up. And above all, email protocol and social media protocol is paramount. You want to make sure that you are being proactive, not reactive, as oftentimes these two things force you to be. OMG. Stay focused, set up your schedule for when you're going to answer emails and respond, maybe two or three times a day. Also social media, depending on how useful it is to your business, make sure you set up a schedule for that and stick to it. You can't let it control you. And that's pretty much all you're going to need to really set up a good, proactive home office. Try and work with what you have and not order a whole bunch of new things. A friend of mine, in fact, who found herself needing desks for everybody in the whole house, went down to her super and asked if there was any extra desks in the storage area not being used that maybe she could borrow or rent. Necessity is the mother of invention. But let me leave you with these last three suggestions. One, remember to build yourself in regular breaks. Get up from the table that you're working at and walk around maybe every 20, 30 minutes. But try not to make it a regular trip to the kitchen. Also, don't work from the couch. Despite what you think, it's not gonna be your optimum place to work. Take a break there for a change of scenery. Maybe do your social media there at that time or a quick phone call. But then at the end of that, get back over to the desk and continue working properly. Lastly, you should subscribe to Unprecedented Journey for inspiration, advice, and motivation. In fact, coming up in the next episode, we have a motivational guest that is amazing. 
I'll be interviewing Randy Kearse, who will tell us how he went from incarceration to publication. I think he has a lot to offer right now in particular. So join me for the next episode of Unprecedented Journey. I'm Jeff Oppenheim. In the meantime, stay safe and stay well.